Look out here, I'm gonna finish the burger. Nice, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also I'm super hungry. Oh, eh. Eh. hi. hi. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to another episode of Ebook Vlogs. I'm Fauzi. And I'm Kiara. And we're going to do something halal again. Ah. And that is halal burgers this time. Today, we're <laughs> going to try a couple of burgers, some good buns, some great patties, and all sorts of different flavors. Oh my god. Uh, I'm very hungry. Are you? I'm starving. Are we ready to go? Let's just go. Okay, come. <laughs> Okay, so our first stop is the Ministry of Burgers located at White Sands Shopping Center in Pasiris. Yeah, shout out to my colleague Hazik, who's single and available. <laughs> <laughs> he told us that we have to come down to Ministry of Burgers to get a good burger. It serves Ramli Burgers. Ramli Burgers is like the kind of thing when you go to the Pasar Malam or the Ramadan Bazaar, that's when you eat it. Yeah. But otherwise... You'll never find it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, cannot find. Three burgers for us to try. The first one we have is the single patty chicken burger. What I love about the Ramli burger mm. is that they do grill the bun beforehand. Yeah. So they do the same thing here. As compared to the burger you get oh in the pasta malam, this one, the egginess is much more mm. pronounced. I don't even get a burn. <laughs> well, I really like the patty. This is 80 grams as opposed to the regular 65 gram right? patty. Mm. So that's 15 grams extra, means 15 grams extra flavour. So next burger we're going to try is the egg banjo burger. Okay. Only 210 for the burger. But what you get is an egg la. But over here they turn it up so you can add 80 cents more for the lettuce yep. and 80 cents more cheese, for the cheese. Cheese, right? Yeah. Banjo, right, reminds me of my childhood so much. In yeah. Malaysia, they actually just have the egg burger, which oh. is egg banjo. And my mom loves that. Wow, I don't even, I don't even think it can fit my mouth. <laughs> Wait, are you sure there's no meat inside? Don't have. <laughs> oh my god. So, we've been told that they added curry powder and chilli powder to the egg. No wonder it tastes like a meat. Because wow. it's like a meat seasoning, you know. 1010 would order this again. Eh? Yes, sir. The next thing I'm very excited about, it is... Thunder! Feel the thunder! <laughs> So this is a thunder burger. You would never be able to get this at a pasar malam. But here you can get it for patties. It's like a challenge in itself. I'm gonna challenge you, Fauzi. I knew it. <laughs> I should have not opened my big mouth. <laughs> now I really have to open my big <laughs> mouth. <laughs> ah. mm. oh <laughs> For Ramli burger, right? The thing that stands out the most is the sauce. Mm. But over here, the thing that stands out is the patty. You can taste the meat so much more. Even though it's still flooded with sauce. So you do taste everything together as opposed to kind of like just the one note taste you get mm. at a regular Ramli store. Correct, 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 correct. Here you can get a meal. Alright, you can get a side of fries and drink. Yes. So thunder, feel the thunder. Uh-huh. Lightning and thunder! Whoa! <laughs> this is like a party in a cup. Super refreshing. It kind of tastes like Sprite. And maybe a bit of like fruit punch kind of syrup. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's rose syrup. Oh my god! Wait, that, is it What's clear? Roses are blue, violet. What the? <laughs> Let's try the, the fries. It's called biryani fries. A little bit of a cake which I love. Yeah, I like that it's not too salty and right. seasoning. This right. one is nicely coated, wow. evenly somehow. It really feels like those favourite dishes, favourite things that you get at a ramen bazaar, like mm. a burger, like a drink, like fries. Mm. You can pretty much get under one roof right here. Yeah, all in one. You get seeds, you get air corn. It's totally different from a pasta malam experience. Alright, I'm going to wipe myself off and we're going to the next stop. There, there. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> so now we're at second stop and right. it's Tampani's Hub, right? It's our, our Tampani's Hub. Hub. But my friend jokes, <laughs> if you don't live in Tampani's, you cannot call it our Tampani's Hub. So I have to call it your, your Tampani's Hub. Hub. And one of the things we're here for is Coco Burger and Cheesesteak. They've been traveling around as like a touring pasta malam <laughs> store. But now, because of popular demand, they mm. decided to open an outlet. La. Okay, so today mm. we got three burgers. The yep. first one we're gonna try is the Fini Cheesesteak. Yeah, which is technically not a burger. <laughs> la. It's very steak. popular in the US. So this Fini Cheesesteak, right, it costs $8.90. Okay. And it's made with Premium rib eye steak. They have some capsicums and caramelized onions. I'm a fan of caramelized onions, but, but <laughs> I'm not a fan of 
capsicum. I hate that she gave me the piece with the light one sticking out. I love how soft it is from the bun to the meat. And I think the cheese really adds more flavour to it. Then, the capsicum just cancels it out a little so that you won't get too jelak. I completely had a different experience from you eh. I don't really taste the capsicum, but it adds a bit of crunch to mm -hmm. it. But I think overall the flavours are a little bit too jelak for me. It's a little tipping towards the cheesiness. Mm -hmm. But it's a very Philly cheesesteak thing ah. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I must say the meat is very good. Yeah. I do give it to them lah. Like $8.90 for premium rib eye. The meat is actually really soft and tender. Alright, next we have the Fungi Burger. Have <laughs> you seen how big the patty is? It's like overflowing the edges of yeah. the bun. Always my meh. I feel like there's too many flavours happening at one time. It's just a whole cacophony of flavours in one burger. I like that mushroom paste. It's too much flavour from that. It shouts ginger, it kind of overpowers the whole burger. But I gotta give it to the chicken patty. It's really crispy on the outside and then inside it's juicy because they kind of smash it thin. I took a piece of the chicken patty. It's really not bad. That's why this is a very confusing burger. Mm. Will I come back and buy it? I'm not sure I would. But if they sold the chicken by itself, I probably will. Shall we try the last Move one? Move on, yes. <laughs> Why push it like that? <laughs> push it away. So we can feature now this one. Poor fun guy. Is the cowboy. It smells like barbecue. <laughs> yes! When I was a kid, when I went to Burger King, right, barbecue sauce was my favorite sauce. Not only does it have barbecue sauce, jang, 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 what? jang. <laughs> onion rings. As a kid, when I went to Burger King, I go put onion rings in my burger. Oh my god. Oh! oh! I see your eyes sparkling eh. This is the burger I would come here for. The onion ring is like adding a little bit of that crunch. The barbecue sauce is good. This one you can kind of taste every single component. Oh god, I hope her. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I actually really love this burger. They sing the same too. Not like this one. This one is like they are quarrelling. This one they are like singing a musical. I like the crunch from the onion rings. I like the crunch from the turkey bacon. You get a really soft bite from the beef patty. And then the cheese do give a little salty kick. But the one that wraps it all up is the barbecue sauce. Mmm. Of all the burgers, I think this is my favourite. I mean, Toko is kind of attempting to remake familiar flavours of burgers out there. Mm. And make it a little bit more elevated. So you're definitely not getting a simple burger at Toko. Don't tell him, I'm going to finish the burger. Nice, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> the dancers. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> Where's the burger? I finished it. While Kiara uh, cleans her face up, we're gonna oh. go to the next place. See you there. Okay, so we are here at our last location, which is the deck. The reason why we're here is we're visiting 21 Sliders. I like a slider because I get to have more at one time. The last time I had it, I really, really enjoyed the burger. So I tried their Wrangler, which was really not bad. So now we're gonna do a lucky dip. No looking lah, lucky dip <laughs> one. Okay, I, I'm mixing it lah. <laughs> okay. No, no, that one, that one. <laughs> Where the such thing? Okay. One, two, three. Mine is AC, which is the American cheese Ew. from their classic collection. Yours is the... Uh? Whoa! Mine is the Butter Factory and it's the Black Burger. Yeah, it's from the Signatures collection. Mm. Wow! So the American cheese is a grilled beef. Uh, we've got some caramelized onions. Mm. Uh, we've got some melted cheese. We've got pickles. I must say the flavours are very good and strong and robust. There are different flavours again, like distinctly different flavours, but they do blend very nicely together. Mm. So I really Really like that. If mine is safe, hers is all the way to the <laughs> other spectrum. Really <laughs> experimental. Oh, wow, you see black buns and then you see purple slaw and then with a fried chicken patty in the middle. There's the aromatic garlic smell because they use a garlic honey butter sauce. That's like killer combo for me. I can smell the chicken from your mouth. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> You know when I took a bite, right? Mm. The garlic butter actually took a backseat and you know okay. who came forward? The chicken. Oh my god! It's thick, it's juicy, like I felt the juices. Flow. And until you chew on it more, you get a crunch from the batter. It's a really good piece of buttermilk chicken. We've got three other options. Yes. They are from the classic series. I got B for the backyard. And I got the W, the Wrangler! The one that you I like. tried, yes. What sauce is this? Alright, so they have a barbecue sauce. Oh, barbecue and, again? Yes. Mm. But in addition, they've also got turkey bacon. And Wait! <laughs> it's pretty similar to the I, I, Yeah, wait, suddenly I'm like thinking about it, I'm like, 
This sounds exactly <laughs> like the previous burger we had. <laughs> You know, as compared to Choco, yep. even though both had barbecue sauce, uh -huh. you can really taste the beef right here. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try the Wrangler. It's, this is like a reunion of sorts. Now, it is a crispy fried chicken and it's got purple slaw and the sauce is a buffalo sauce. The burger might be small in size, but the meat is thick. Thick. And I love the buffalo sauce. It's a little bit spicy. It's like if you wanted buffalo wings in a burger, this is it. Ooh, okay. The last one is the 4 to one Yep. So it's a grilled chicken, purple slaw. It has mayo and also pineapples. Pineapple on pizza, <laughs> yes or no? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> okay, let me try it. No need to cover. So I took a really big bite, right? Mm. I can say that I love this one much more than the fried chicken burger. It's more natural. You can really okay. taste the chicken flavour. Right. They just lightly season it and then grill it on the pan. You get a really smoky thing. And the pineapple, right? It really cuts through the fattiness of the mayo because they thumb right. the mayo in the burger, right? I'm gonna try one of their sides, which is truffle tots. This is kind of like a mini hash brown fry mm. combination. Mmm! Nothing can go wrong with a bit of truffle and mm. tater tot. I gotta say that they really deep fry it very well. Really crispy yeah. and the inside is chewy. So, 21 Ciders are actually uh, not halal certified but they are Muslim owned. So all the ingredients they use are halal. It's a place where people don't really know exists but you should know it exists. You know what I mean? <laughs> I totally get it. So that's it for all the burgers we're gonna try today. Uh, and since we are in such a nice location, Kara, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take some pictures. <laughs> As the sun is setting, uh, so are our bellies. Actually not really, mine is not setting definitely. <laughs> I think overall we really had a good time yeah. trying out all the burgers from all the different halal joints. Yeah, I feel like I've been educated you know, after mm. this vlog. Yeah, especially because when people think about like halal burger joints, they always think about fast food mm. and they don't think about all these different options that actually serve very good quality burgers. Yeah. So what out of these three will warrant a return visit for you? Wow, personally I would go back to Ministry of Burgers. Ah, um, but okay. I will definitely go back for that nostalgic feels mm. and it's also great I can go anytime lah. I think I really love the 21 sliders. Those small portions, they really speak to me because you can eat so many at a go. It's amazing that there are halal options mm. all over. I think all you need to do is just go and try out for yourself lah. Yeah. Or you can comment in the comment section down below which one you feel like trying. And that's it for this episode of ebook vlogs. As always, you can watch our other videos right here. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Okay, let's go. No. I can't believe that you guys don't like pineapples on pizza. I know, I'm sister slaying all these people. <laughs>